welcomed by, this is Stephanie Landis, the principal here at, El at Gilbertsville. Good evening. Welcome to Gilbertsville Elementary School. We're happy to have all of you here with us this evening. We'd like to take just a few moments to share with you some of the great things that our students are working on here at Gilbertsville Elementary. Um, behind you, you'll see just a brief PowerPoint as we go through a couple things tonight. Um, as you know, the Boyertown Area School District has three key goals as part of our comprehensive plan. And this evening, we have some students here to share with you some of the work that they are doing to work towards all three of these goals. Our first item that we have is a musical performance by some of our second grade students under the direction of Mr. Scott Horner. And they would like to share a piece with you that they've been working on called Pizza, Pizza, Daddy-O. <laughs> this musical program is just one area where our students are working on developing their 21st century skills, such as innovation, creativity and curiosity, collaboration, and communication skills.
about things that we're working on at Gilbertsville Elementary School this year. Here at, at Gilbertsville, our students have traditionally performed well on state and local assessments. However, in addition to proficiency, we also look at growth for all of our students and see how well they are improving from one year to the next. Another one of our comprehensive goals states that all of our students will meet or exceed individual growth goals, including the demonstration of grade level proficiency. On the slide behind you, our PVAS data shows that while our students are showing growth, we still have work to do to help all of our students continue to move forward. The pink areas in the middle of the chart that you see there show that while our advanced students in fourth and fifth grade are continuing to excel, they are not showing as much growth as the rest of our students. We want to continue to challenge all of our students to improve in their skills and increase their growth by at least one full year's measure. Through differentiated instruction and the use of level books and guided reading groups, as well as the use of signpost lessons for all of our students, we want to encourage all of our students to read complex texts closely and apply strategies to their independent reading. And these are some tools that we are using to develop all of our students into college and career ready learners, which is another one of our comprehensive goals. We have a few fourth, uh, excuse me, fifth and sixth grade students here with us this evening who are going to explain to you what the signposts are that they are working on in their classrooms. And this is something that a number of our grade levels are working on to help them grow as readers. This is Lois Wright, fifth grade teacher, and this is Margie Diazio, sixth grade teacher, are here with some of their students who are going to come up and share signposts with you. Memory moments, when the action author interrupts the action to tell you a memory. Stop and ask yourself, why might this memory be important? The answers will tell you about the theme, conflict, or might foreshadow what will happen later in the story. In my book, Ruth Make the Man, Jerome has a memory moment. He remembers when Maurice bought him the Bill Russell jacket. Jerome has been going through some tough times because his mom was in a car accident. This makes me wonder if the jacket is is a real, authentic jacket and may be sold for a lot of money. I think a possible theme for the story it may be, no matter how tough the situation is, there is hope. Because Jerome's family may have something worth a lot of money and this could really help them. Tough questions. When the character asks him or herself a really difficult question, stop and ask yourself, what does this question make me wonder about? The answers will tell you about the conflict and might give you ideas about what will happen later in the story. In the book, in Storm Thief, Kretsch asks Vago and Alien a tough question. The question that Kretsch asks is, what do you suppose you were made for, Vago? This tough question makes me wonder who made Vago. Did they make him for good or bad purposes? Why did they make him? And why did the Storm Thief move him from his maker to Kretsch? Or is it the wiser? When a character who is probably older and a lot wiser takes the main character aside and gives serious advice, stop and ask yourself, what's the life lesson and might, how might it affect the character? Whatever the lesson is, you've probably just found the theme for the story. In the book, Into No Man's Land, the main character, Patrick Flattery, who is a United States Marine heading into war, gets pulled aside by his father and gains valuable advice. His father was previously in a war himself. His father's advice was, don't think too much, just do what you have to do. The life lesson from this advice is that war is a bad thing and you just shouldn't think about it. This is an example of the signpost words of the wiser. Again and again, when you notice a word, phrase, object, or situation mentioned over and over, Stop and ask yourself, why does this keep showing up again and again? The answers will tell you about the theme and conflict, or they may foreshadow what will happen later. In 
In the book Scorpions, I found it again and again through the chapters 15, 16, and 17. The again and again is when Jamal keeps telling the gang, the Scorpions, that he doesn't want to be the leader. This again and again may keep showing up because Jamal's older brother, Randy, was the leader of the Scorpions, and now he's in jail. I think that Jamal doesn't want to get into trouble, and he knows that if he's the leader of the Scorpions, he probably will. Aha moment. When a character suddenly realizes, or understands, or finally figures something out. Stop and ask yourself, how might this change things? If the character figured out a problem, you probably just learned about the conflict. If the character understood a life lesson, you probably just learned about the theme. In, in the book, The Face on the Milk Carton, Janie has an aha moment. She's at lunch with her friends and looks at one of the milk cartons. She is amazed when she realizes that the missing child on it is her. This might change things because now the conflict is different since Janie now knows that there is a possibility that she could be kidnapped. This also makes me wonder what Janie will do to find the truth about what really happened. And it makes me wonder if her parents were lying to her and she really was kidnapped. In summary, Janie had an aha moment when she realized that she was the missing child on the milk carton. <laughs> Contrast and contradictions. When a character says or does something that's opposite, contradicts what he or she has been saying or doing all along. Stop and ask yourself, why is the character doing that? The answers could help you make a prediction or make an inference about the plot and conflict. In the book Wonder, there's a contrast and contradiction. In the beginning of the book, Jack Will is being really nice to August. August is a new kid to the school who has a deformed face. Some of the kids are kind to August, like Jack Will. Later in the book, August overhears Jack saying mean things about him. Jack is acting differently because he is trying to fit in with other kids. I think a theme for the book is be yourself and do what you know is the right thing. Don't just go along with the crowd. Thank you, fifth and sixth graders, for sharing those with us. The book that I'm holding um, in front of me here, Notice and Note, is a book that introduces these signposts that our teachers are using with our students. And many of our teachers are reading this book as part of their colloquium group for the new teacher effectiveness system for their differentiated supervision selection. Um, with the Notice and Note and the signposts that you just saw, we've been working closely with Mrs. Dana Kramerov, our, our elementary instructional coach, and she's been working closely with our staff and students to develop their use of these signposts in the classroom to help them with their reading skills and applying these strategies on a daily basis. It's our hope that as these students become familiar with these and use them year after year, that will become a very natural part of their reading and their response to the things that they've read. So thank you very much for the opportunity to be here tonight and share with you some of the things that our students are working on here at Gilbertsville to help address our district's comprehensive goals. Thank you very much. It was a pleasure hearing all of those wonderful things that are connected to our comprehensive plan. Thank you.